Hey guys, this is part two of my 1.3 to 5.8 gigahertz video relay test. This has been a pretty successful FPD project that I've gotten some considerable range out of and quite happy with. I'd set up a 5.8 gigahertz ground station pretty close to the video relay. And uh, as you can see in this picture, it's, it's right near the house and the DVR is actually inside the house. Here you can see the antenna on the ground station and there's the antenna on the video relay. In part one, I used a 300 milliwatt VTX on a TBS Disco Pro. This one is a Spidex V3 and 400 milliwatts. But there would be very little difference between 300 and 400 milliwatts. I started the recording on the DVR, then drove out 10 kilometers where I then launched the copter. Now in part one, you'd probably notice that the received video quality from the relay was much better than what I'm showing here. Now bear in mind, I'm using omnidirectional antennas at both ends. So the video signal at 1.3 gigahertz at that distance is gonna be pretty weak. As you can see, I have some sync problems going on. And as we get further out, the video quality will degrade more and more. Now, if you watch the copter's height on the OSD, you'll notice that I lose video at about five meters, which I was actually quite pleased with. So as I get farther out, that height will actually increase. You'll notice at uh, 12 kilometers out, that height, uh, we started seeing the video at uh, about 10 meters up, maybe a little bit less. And here we are at uh, 17 kilometers out and you can see the height of the copter is about 10 meters or 10 or 11 before we start getting some video received at the video relay. And the other thing you'll notice is as we get further out, we're getting more and more video degradation. Now here you can see I got out as far as 20 kilometers and you can see the height of received video was more like 40 meters up. Now as you'll see here the video is getting pretty weak but I could probably get further out. Uh, the problem was in this case I was backing up to a gate of a wildlife reserve and I didn't want to take my copter into, uh, into that area at all. So that concludes this test. This project's been quite successful and the um, reality is I'd never be flying that far out to FPV. So with my Dragon Link also mounted on an external antenna on a separate tower, I'd certainly be able to get out 20 kilometers or more. The problem is I'm being held back by battery capacity. The intent of this project has never been to see how far I could fly out, but to be able to fly close in, low and within the trees. So I want the best possible coverage I can get within the general area of flying. So if you want to read more about the details of this project, feel free to check out the URL in the description of this video and you can read more about it from the RC Group's website. Thanks a lot guys.